Hello and welcome to a new video in which we are going to explain the rules of a Kakuru puzzle, which is sometimes called a number crossword. In Kakuru the rules are very simple, you must fill in the numbers between 1 and 9 into each of these runs that go across and down the grid in such a manner that they obey the sum total at the start of that region. So for instance these three squares must sum up to 10, these three squares must sum up to 15 and you must use the numbers from 1 to 9 only and also very importantly you cannot repeat a number within a run. So for instance to make this total of 16 whilst 9 plus 7 would be fine you could not place 8 and 8 because then you'd be repeating a number and that's not allowed. So when solving Kukuru, then typically you will need to use pencil marks, particularly with the trickier puzzles, and you soon start to identify combinations that only have one possibility, and we've marked a few of those in this grid to show you. So for instance here, this 10 of 4 squares must be 1, 2, 3 and 4 in some order, because that's the only way to make 10 from four numbers between one and nine without repeating any digits. The four from two must be one and three in some order. The 23 from three must be six, eight and nine in some order. And 24 from three must be seven, eight and nine in some order. And then generally you make progress by cross-referencing. So for instance, we have a 12 from two squares here. Well, if this was one, that would have to be 11, which is clearly higher than 9, and likewise if this was 2, that would have to be 10, which again is higher than 9. So this square can actually only be 3 or 4. And as you work your way through solving a Kukuru puzzle, you can gradually whittle down to the single option that must be placed in each square. 